Impact of the cost of money. When a bond reaches maturity, the bond issuer pays the bond holder the full face value of the bond, face value. The face value of a bond is not necessarily the same as the purchase price or invested principal. For corporate bonds, the face value is usually $1,000, while for government bonds, it's usually $10,000. Bond price. The price of a bond can be above, below, or at par value depending on interest rates. For example, if interest rates increase, the bond will trade at a discount or below par. Repayment. Regardless of the price at which the bond was purchased, the issuer will always repay the face value to the bondholder at maturity. When a bond reaches maturity, the bond issuer must pay the bondholder the bond's par value regardless of its current market value. When a bond reaches maturity, the bond issuer must pay the bondholder the bond's par value regardless of its current market value. This ends the bond issuer's obligation to the bondholder and the debt agreement between the two parties is terminated. What happens at maturity? The bondholder receives the bond's par value plus any interest payments they received during the bond's term. Bond issuer. The bond issuer pays the bondholder the bond's par value and the bond issuer's obligation to the bondholder ends. The maturity date is the date on which the bond's principal amount becomes due. The maturity date is used to classify bonds into three categories, short-term, medium-term, and long-term. Some bonds, called callable bonds, can be paid off by the issuer before the maturity date. This allows the issuer to take advantage of a possible drop in interest rates.